Alright, what is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Freaks here today and we are back and in today's video we are going to be actually going down to the area, I just stepped on a piece of paper, but we are going to be going down to the area that we were in, in my Kamloops video about Schubert, the place that is just filled with garbage and stuff like that, and today we're going to actually go there and we're going to clean up a little bit. Right now I'm actually on my way to go meet somebody from the uh, news channel and actually, yeah, and I was just planning on going down there today already to just go clean up, so uh, yeah, I thought I'd take you guys with me. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, so you know, one person can make a difference, so today I'm gonna be going into the woods. But we're gonna be going in there, we're gonna clean up the area that we were in in the last video, and I hope you guys do enjoy. So, uh, further ado, let's just start cleaning. So with, you know, cleaning up people's areas, you have to keep in note that yes, it is their home and you really don't want to destroy their property because how would you feel if somebody came into your house and moved everything of yours around that didn't need to be moved? And you know, it's not as much of the issue as, you know, there's people living down here because, you know, they're homeless. Where else are they supposed to go? We're not going to force them out of here, you know, where are they going to sleep? It's just a matter of, you know, them cleaning up after themselves and like getting this place clean. Even if we can get maybe like, you know, syringe buckets, you know, the biohazard tins in here, you know, along some trees, because we can probably put one up here or we can put one up over there, there. They can be put anywhere and I don't see why, you know, if there's needles and stuff lying around like you saw in my last video, I don't see why, you know, biohazard things can't be around. And then right here, as you can see, there is a needle. We missed that when we came in here, too bad that we did. Because really, there is a lot of garbage in here and stuff like that, but I mean like, you know, it's the majority, the big pieces of garbage are really what makes it look super bad. It doesn't even look as bad as it did when we first came in already. And just in case this is someone's, I'm gonna put this up here, just so, yeah. Already? Yeah, it's already looking at least yeah. a little bit better. Like, obviously there's still some garbage around and stuff like that, but what do you expect? This isn't going to be a short process. It's going to obviously take a little bit, but you know, with the work and with the effort that the city can put into this, and maybe even the community can put into this, it really can come together really nice. So right now I'm sweating like crazy, but as you can see, you know, it looks at least a little bit better than it did before, a little bit more cleaned up. I would feel a little bit more comfortable actually walking through here to go to the beach because as you're walking through here, you can see again, there isn't really anything that's, well, unsanitary or something like that. And we put the needles all in a separate corner, just so, you know, keep their stuff intact because we can't really dispose of them unless we have the actual proper equipment to. But uh, I just put it in the corner just so it's out of the way and it's safe to get away from the kids. I don't care what you do in the woods. If you want to like sleep in here and stuff like that because you don't have a home, that's totally understandable. That is fine to, you know, have this as your shelter to stay because you're homeless. Where else are you going to go? But if it's just like, if it could be maintained a little bit, even by the city or maybe even by the people, if you put a couple of garbage cans in here, it would make a big difference. And you know what? Look, literally look at this. How, how long were we probably here for? 15 minutes? Easy. We were here about 15 minutes and we, we've we already made it look at least, you know, a little bit better than what it did before. Obviously there's still stuff scattered, but you know, we didn't bring a rake and a whole cleanup crew and stuff like that. But if you think about it, if we got a cleanup crew in here, imagine how much could get done and how better this place could look. And just for next time to help them out, you know, they can actually, you know, clean up after themselves a little bit. We're leaving the pinches there for them so they can pick up their stuff and we're leaving some bags for them. So if they see that and they clean up after themselves, then that's awesome. Yeah. Any if anybody wants to clean up, you know, there's stuff right there. Go at it, go to town. But uh, yeah, eventually I'll probably form some kind of event, some kind of community thing where we all come together, do a bit of a portion, do our share of cleanup and stuff like that. Because really, it's just one person can make a difference and 10 people can make a difference. And I think you know where I'm going to go with that sentence.
But anyways guys, that is literally all it takes. Just the slightest effort makes such a big difference and I hope the city sees this and I hope they can come together and you know, understand where we're coming from, that we want this forest cleaned up. This is our city, this is where we are. We should be proud of our city and nothing else. I'm sweating like crazy, so that's gonna be the end of the today's video. Oh my God. But anyways, my homies, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, comment down below, chat me up. I absolutely love it when you guys talk to me. Also remember to share around to a friend and subscribe. But anyways, my homies, as usual, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Just remember to stay positive and peace out.